we don't yet know that we're at a place where the skill set of being able to work with a, a radio frequency ablation catheter in the left atrium is something we want to give up forever. Pulse field ablation is kind of taking the main stage here at this meeting. How have you integrated that into your practice? It's exciting to have something that you know, a skill set is probably more easily translated throughout smaller practices around the country, around the world. But we don't yet know that we're at a place where the skill set of being able to work with a, a radio frequency ablation catheter in the left atrium is something we want to give up forever. And I think as we continue to train electrophysiologists that are then going to go out and practice in the world, I think you run the risk of training people who lose that skill set if all you do is PFA for the two years that you're in training. And so then that, you know, brings very difficult clinical questions as far as, all right, which patients do you choose for PFA? Which patients then do you reserve for radiofrequency ablation? And how do you make that, that distinction before the case? Um, it, it's a very challenging thing.